did our first collection of wallpapers with the National Trust back in 2020 and it was a great success. Um, we're able to go and visit historic houses, all the National Trust properties and look and find the beautiful papers that you have in those uh, locations. So we're currently in the grey bedroom at Gumby Hall. It is most likely that the wallpaper in this room is of uh, British Edwardian origin. Stylistically, uh, it represents the, that era's passion for um, Asian design. The um, trailing blossoms and the repeating designs are elements commonly found in the early hand-painted uh, chinoiserie patterns. Nice Hayes was the home of the Hethcote Amory family. It was commissioned by Sir John Hethcote Amory, and he went to the architect William Burgess, who was really quite an amazing, eccentric figure, one of the leaders of the Victorian Gothic revival. Burgess really had a kind of ideal vision of the Middle Ages that he, he sought to recreate in his interiors. Under all of that, his kind of sense of fun as well, which I think you, you, you see in something like his snail wallpaper. You know, it's got bunches of daisies in the pattern, but actually choosing a snail, really quite unconventional for a, for a pattern of, of that kind. So again, I think that shows very much his sense of fun. So it's really important that we work with the National Trust curators to make sure that the historical provenances of each design are correct and that the descriptions are right and that the designs are true to the original and the colours as well. Many of our wallpapers are surface printed just because that's often true to the original process. However, obviously with the Tree of Life design there, the Mandalay, you would see that that's digital because it doesn't have that, those sort of limitations. So that is a process in itself, just working out how we print these things. I find it really interesting to look at the way designs of the past have been inspired by other designs and continue to inspire artists and designers today. And I think that the latest Little Green collection actually demonstrates that. It's very important for us to support a charity like the National Trust. Obviously, it's really important that we can take that history, put it into the contemporary interior and let a lot of people have access to these designs. That's one thing for sure. A donation from every tin of paint and roll of wallpaper goes to the National Trust to support this important work to protect our historic environment and restore the historic buildings.